Welcome to another G252 Live. We are glad you're here with us today. I'm Andy. Just want to talk to you a few minutes about what are you afraid of? What scares you? You know, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite things on social media is around Halloween time and, and the people that go through the, the, the haunted houses and they have a hidden camera in the right spot. And right when someone jumps out to scare them, the camera goes off and you get to see their reactions. Cracks me up when I look at those. I love it to see grown people just freaking out. It's great. I don't know why. Sick humor. I don't know why, but I enjoy it. But what are you afraid of? When I was little, I was afraid of the dark. When I was a little kid, I was afraid of the darkness at night. I did not like sleeping in a room that's dark. Now that I'm older, I've grown out of that fear. It doesn't, it doesn't scare me anymore to be in the dark. But I'll tell you what I am afraid of. Snakes. I cannot stand a snake. It scares me to death. If I see one, I kill it. And unfortunately, a lot of times they're the good snakes. People are like, don't kill it, it's a good snake. But in my mind, I just picture this snake just clamped down on me, just injecting venom. So I'm afraid of snakes. What are you afraid of? People have lots of fears. Listen, when God is our everything, we have nothing to fear. Today, you're going to read in Psalm chapter 27, and you're going to read King David and what he has to say. Listen, he had reason to be afraid. King David had people out to kill him. They were after him to kill him. Psalm 27, when this is over, go read that chapter. Check out what's happening with King David. He had reason to fear. But listen, when God is our everything, we have nothing to fear. I wanna read uh, some verses from Proverbs, verses three, chapter three, verses five to six. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart do not lean on your own in understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Trust in the Lord. Now, we all know what trust is. You trust people. You trust certain things. I'm sitting on a bench in my backyard. I trust this bench to hold me. I mainly trust it because I built this bench and I know I put way more screws in there to hold it together than it was probably necessary. I trust it. I am trusting my body here, sitting here. I have no fear that this, this bench is gonna let me down. That's what trust in the Lord is. You have no fear. You understand that God has got you. You are trusting in the Lord. Uh, he's the creator, right? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That, that's a total, complete trust. All, all is all, right? Everything, trust him. And then it says, and do not lean on your own understanding. A lot of times this is where our fear comes from. It works up in our mind. A lot of times the fears are not legitimate. And, and even when they're legitimate fears, we can let those fears control us instead of trusting in the Lord because we're leaning on our own understanding. I don't get it, God. I don't know. I'm afraid. I don't know what's going on. And so we lean on our own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, don't do that. Trust in the Lord with everything you've got. And don't lean on your own understanding because listen, our brains are incredible things and we can really trick ourselves, right? If you lay in a dark room at night with the closet door just cracked and you stare at it long enough, what's that closet door do? It looks like it's starting to open or move, right? Your mind is a powerful thing. Don't lean on your own understanding. Listen, there's a lot in this world. We talked about last week, we're not in control. Listen, there's a lot in this world we can't understand. So we have to trust in the Lord. I pray that this week you'll think about these things. Listen, uh, if you're watching on Instagram, you can go down and click through the slides and answer the questions, maybe get with a friend text, FaceTime, whatever. Uh, I've emailed your parents. If you're a G252 student, your parents have received the PDF in the mail that's got all the discussion. Uh, maybe they could print it off or give it to you so you could work through it with them or with a friend. But take some time and think about that. When God is our everything, we have nothing to fear. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Have a great week.